Hello, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to install the Rhino Rack Pioneer Roof Rack with the backbone. And this will be installed on our 2022 Toyota 4Runner. Come on, let's check them out. Okay, so this is the Rhino Rack Pioneer that we have here. And this is the backbone that came with it. So, as you can see, we have a last fit uh, LED bar in here. Uh, this will be on another video. This will be under refract also. But yeah, we'll make another video for that. But for now, our focus is to uh, install the roof rack. And first, we need to assemble this one out so this is a big one so i'll put it here on the pool table and we're gonna try to assemble it as quick as we can all right okay so from the box there will be a small white box and this is what's inside so it has the manual the warranty card some nuts and washers or nuts there's some screws there's some uh bolts in here it comes with this tool which is a torque wrench which is yeah six newton meter and has the key nuts or key bolt in here it has the elbows that goes to the corner and also this are the planks for the thing so the long one basically this goes to the side uh, and this goes to the bottom and then those are the planks that goes basically from passenger side to driver side so yep so those are the things. I'm going to try to lay it out here in the pool table uh, so that we can uh, have a better picture of it. All right. All right. So from the user manual, we have to work with the letter F first, which are these two long ones. And they have the measurement in here. Basically, when you're adjusting them, you have your numbers. So again, these are the letter F from the manual so these are the one so again they look like that and again these are the two long one which will be on the left and the right so with this one first we have to put the uh, t-nuts in here so we need to install three so 12 total basically three on each side yeah so three on each side and they're also mentioning about installing like four on each side so i don't know they're talking about you can install multiples of them so i don't know there's no actual wording how to install this uh but yeah so i don't know we're we're gonna start here so again all pictures no wording so we're gonna go from here so good luck with us all right so i'll update you uh on this one all right all right so i'll figure it out uh so if you have three of this then you will need 12 t nuts so if you have four, you will need 16, so, and so forth. All right, so with this one, not sure how many do we have uh, for this. So this will be letter H. So with letter H, how many we do, do we have? I don't know. So let's check the box because this one, yeah, it doesn't really tell. This one says we have two, 
have three but with this one it doesn't say so let's check it out on the box so here's the box i think we have four so we have no we have five of them all right so we have five of them so according to the manual we're gonna need 20 t-nuts all right so that's what we're gonna do so five on each so make sure you install them on the top position uh, in here well top if it's upside down but yeah you get it so we need to put it in this position on the top one not on the bottom so we need to slide it here all right so again we're gonna need to install five five well five 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 basically each channel will have five t-nuts all right all right so first step is done so with our second step we're gonna need to put on the uh the caps this one so the elbows i call them elbows so those are markers a b c d or a c all right so that's what we're gonna do next all right so just to put this just to slide them in basically this comes with in pairs basically it has the cover so the top cover and the bottom cover so just separate those and then just to slide them then we're gonna need to screw this one out uh, we're gonna be using the letter K according to the manual. These are the self-tapping one, uh, the short self-tapping screws, uh, which will be on this bag. So this particular one, so we just need to screw those uh, on this one. All right, so next we need we need to install the letter E, which will be the front and the back. Uh, so we're just gonna slide them here on both left and right so yeah so that's what we're gonna do let's go all right so and this is where the part that we are gonna screw them here so again this is the one for the rear so they're labeled so it says the rear so yeah so for this one, we're just going to screw this. There's two holes in there. There's one more here. So three letter J uh, from the manual. And yeah, we're going to go from there. All right. So successfully put on the covers, secure this uh, front and rear support. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go step five. So step five, basically, they will, this will be the actual planks. So we have four planks and we have five support, basically the support here. So we're gonna need to add 14 T-nuts that we need to slide at the bottom of the planks, right? And then we're gonna need to assemble it all right so let's proceed with that all right so with the planks with the t-bolt so again just clarification so it will be 14 t-nuts each planks so this they supply you with enough so there's like an extra two t-nuts in there or t-bolts in there so yeah so again 14 t t-bolts on each plank all right, so now that we have this completed, we're just gonna put it now on the actual frame. Let's call it a frame because it looks like a frame, all right? So yeah, so that's what we're gonna do next. All right, so with the T-bolts that are in here, we just need to align them on these holes. And then we're gonna use the provided nylon lock uh, nuts and we're gonna tie it with the torque wrench that they provided us all right so this will be tightened to six newton meters which the actual torque wrench is 
rated to 6 newton meters all right so you don't over torque them and that stripping or uh, worse is messed up your actual t-bolts all right so let's proceed so this is the provided uh torque wrench and these are the nuts that we're going to be using and let me show you so that's the screw for the bolts so i'm tightening it right now and we're gonna it's getting tighter now so because this is a torque wrench we'll hear it in a moment here so here you go there you go so meaning it is torque properly don't over tighten it just leave it as, as is all right so just do the same on all of the bolts in here and I'm gonna go from there all right so the rack uh, the platform is complete uh, basically with this one you need to align them uh, you need to go to their website well, I'll put the screenshot that I got uh, on the screen uh, basically and it will give you the measurement that you need where to actually place this uh, bars crossbars uh, into the rack so so that when you put the backbone it actually aligns on the crossbars themselves also just a quick reminder double torque this just to make sure i did a second pass on all of the uh, nuts and i double torque them just to make sure i didn't miss anything so yeah just a precaution all right so let's go all right so we need to remove the factory rails so with the covers there should be some uh, clips in here that we just need to pry if you want to cover your car with a cloth that's fine and we're just gonna pry this one here good luck there you go you'll hear it pop just do the same on the other side here. There you go. And you should be able to lift this. And it will expose the two. I think these are 13 millimeter or 12 millimeter bolts. We need to remove. Just do the same on all four uh, sides and that's it just set them aside all right so i successfully installed the first rail or the backbone and for this one i did not use the butyl tape that they gave me because it's kind of useless when i stick it in there it just get damaged <laughs> basically it's just get messy um so it's yeah it is basically useless so i just put a blob of uh, rtv in here and to secure it it's the same thing what i did on my uh, victory 4x4 rack before so i just did that so i know it's gonna be sealed i'm sure of that um yeah so I just do the same thing on the other side there and then we're gonna put the rack on all right let's go all right all right so after 48 hours of not using the car and let the rtv cure we're all ready now so just add some protection on your roof anything just a cloth i might put another layer of cardboard if i have some laying around it doesn't need to be full coverage but something just to minimize the damage in case uh that you drop the roof rack but yeah so this is what we have now we're ready to put on the roof rack uh let me show you what i'm gonna use uh for mounting it all right 
All right, so I decided to use the T-bolts in here, uh, and this will be combined with the nylon lock nut. So another option is to use the channel nut that they provided also. That's one option, and use the bolts. So the only thing that I'm concerned uh, with this combination is when you tread this in there's a movement uh on on the tread so i decided to use the t-bolts instead so if you see i put some tape in here so that when we lift it they're not gonna fall they're not gonna slide all the way to the middle and fall so at least they're just gonna slide towards the outside in here so I just did that in all four corners or six corners. So, so yeah. So actually I did this wrong. I'm supposed to move this one up in here. So I'll do that. All right. So successfully installed the Rhine Rack Pioneer platform on the backbone. So again, very easy. Uh, I still need to remove those blue tape in there. And yeah, it looks nice. So make sure you torque those uh, bolts to 15 to 20 Newton meters. I don't have any torque wrench uh, small enough to fit there. So hand tight basically, or I just feel the uh, basic, I just tighten them uh as much as i can uh i know they're snug uh, in there it won't go anywhere so it looks good yep so there you go it looks very good so full rack from rhino rack uh it may not go all the way up here which is fine so some rack goes up to here, right? But not this one. So it gives you like uh, around a foot. Yeah, more than a foot from this to the edge of the windshield in here. But again, it looks nice already. Uh, we'll be adding our LED bracket later uh, on another video. But this one looks so nice now so happy again if you find this video helpful please consider subscribing thank you for watching